Hey everyone, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate. This is episode 70, uh, and we are trying to do two quests. We're trying to do the Tremaine Sun quest and the American Lothander quest. So, um, I think we've got it figured out. So we're going to speak with High Priestess Jalantha Mistfear. The Witch Queen brooks no insulin. <laughs> That's her, but she's got to walk in a weird direction. And she'll be here. She'll be back in like five minutes. That's cool. No worries. Seriously, game? Did she disappear? Oh my god, game. Come on. Jeez. There she is. Get her. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh my god. Uh, we want you to remove Gash spell from a companion of ours. We'll pay any price. Okay. So this is, we have no other choice. We're in. So that's at the Temple of Timora. Come to the temple and meet with Okay, so the Temple of Timora is in West Baldur's Gate. In West Baldur's Gate! Oh yeah, we've been there, haven't we? I don't remember. I think we have. It's this one, right? So, Hall of Wonders, the Ladies' Hall. Right here. Oh, you bet. So, hopefully we pop down here and we have a little conversation. And all goes well. Fingers crossed. Alright, yep. uh, so it's oofledy doofledy's having. Welcome! Luck has seen fit to drop you into the lap of the lady, and she'll take good care of you indeed. For those who dare are always seen in the best light, and we require but a small donation of coin for whatever you need. Um, we are in desperate need of a book known as the Book of Wisdom. Please, we will do anything if you'd only give it to us. I'll do, because I, I don't like this because it tries to guilt him. I'll just pay him. If you're willing to pay such large sums of money, then you must be in dire need. Here, take the book. Awesome. So we got the book. Now we just head back. And then we, hopefully we should be able to give her the thing. We get the scroll. Um, and then we, the, so the goal there is, is that after we get the scroll, we should be able to then get the body. Fingers fucking crawl. Where y'all going? Wrong fucking direction, you dipshits. Oh my god. Pathing. All right, Jalantha. You've returned with the Book of Wisdom. Let me see it. 
Good, take this. An incantation upon the scroll will dispel the Gesh upon your companion. Uh, I wish nothing of you, you say the body of the fool that tried to break into your hollowed halls. I imagine the return of such one of such an infidel is an ample return for my services. Bodies are of infidels are priced highly in these troubled times. Give me two thousand gold and the body is yours. We're willing to pay the cash, just give us the body. Yay! Oh, you bet. I probably didn't have to do that. I probably could have worked it out in some way, shape, form, or fashion. But how we can do this. Um What potions do I have? Like I'm I'm legitimately considering just giving him a fing potion. So that he can uh, have a crap ton of strength. We have a potion of hill giant strength. Strength 19. I wonder if he'll be able to carry with a strength. We'll give it a try. Why not? Um... Weight allowance is 170. So I'm assuming 19 will be 190. Um, it won't be enough to... Did he drink the potion or not? Oh, he's drinking. Okay. I forget. Wow! Holy shit! <laughs> Holy crap. So, 17 strength gives you a carry weight of 170. 19 strength gives you a carry weight of 500. That's insane! What the fuck? Alright. Uh, let's get over here. So, we're gonna take care of all- because both these quests are times, we're gonna take care of both of these quests first, um, before we start doing other shit, so. So we're gonna go back up. I believe it's here. Oh, you bet. Um... Take the body back to the father. That math do definitely does not check out, does it? Right? Holy shit. Okay, so... While the gods, the lady who smiles must be positively beaming this day. Quickly, get the body inside while I pre the Timora will grant it life anew. I'll, I'll not waste another moment until my son's soul is on solid ground once more. Come with. See the wonder. He lives. Son, can you hear me? Come on. My dear, dear boy. You are in such trouble. What in all the planes were you thinking? Gallivanting through an umberland temple like that. So help me if turning you over my knee wouldn't kill you outright. Jump black to go right to blue. you want to play the odds, you'd best be sure to take responsibility for yourself. The goddess of luck and adventure does not endorse dumb luck or foolish risks. I swear, if your mother were alive to hear about this, she'd drop dead where she stood, and then I'd have to raise her too. Do you have any idea what this spell takes out of a person? Another word, past your lips, young man. After, off to your room and see if I let you out before you're four score and twenty. Cheats. March. Hey! Alright. Barcy Roaring Horn. Have your payment here. It'll be some time before Gas K 
Kassin and I night out again. It's good to have him back among the living, though. I take some small pleasure in the trouble he's, he's in for what we did. You'll notice I've not sat down since you've known me. Sometimes our lady who smiles downright laughs out loud. Look to us if you need aid in the future. Minieta Morin will look favorably on you now. Good day. Cool. Nice experience. Nice. Nice experience. Very nice. Okay, so we need to find... Lothander. And Lothander is... The Bladen Star Inn. Honestly, I don't remember where that's at, so we're going to have to go searching for a little bit. Um, Check here. Okay, maybe not that one. I don't know where it is. I think it was in the center, though. Oberon's estate, Dakinan. I believe this isn't marked. I don't want to fucking run around like crazy. Let's just look it up. We've got it right here. It's The inn is located in the southeast area of Baldur's Gate in the northwest corner of the local map. So we haven't we haven't discovered it yet because we haven't been here. So we gotta go there now. Okay. Oh, you bet. So. Arms, arms for the on down this way. Bladen Stars. Gantolandon's house. Alright. So. Gah. Gaxir. Interesting. Oh, you bet. Talk to some people. Yeah, mate. You are a light entering darkness. You are a seeker of truths. You are more than you realize. The seer has spoken it. Because the seer knows the fear you harbor, the fear you shall yet become. In the lair of the basilisk, you will find a sphene gem. You would do well to bring it to me. Interesting. Okay. So, I think we maybe know where that is. Shayla sees through the mists of the lady that you are strong and worthy adventurers. Who is Shayla? It is Shayla, most high middling priestess of the Mist Shadow, who is here before you, speaking through the mists of Lyra. Lyra, who's that? Lyra, ladies of Lady of Mists, mother of all illusion, the guardian of deception, the Mist Shadow. Some say she died in the time of troubles, killed by Cyric, betrayed by Mask. Some say she loved Mask and loves him still. Some say gods can die. Some say gods can be born. Some say gods can live. Some say gods are an illusion we create for our own contentment. Some say gods are an illusion we create to disguise our fear of living, our fear of dying, our fear of being. If gods are a disguise, if gods are an illusion, then perhaps Lyra is the only beacon of truth in our entire pantheon of lies. But if gods are real and true and all-knowing, then Lyra cannot be a god and must be dead, if indeed she ever lived at all. What the fuck? Oh my, look at the time! <laughs> I don't want to know other people's opinions. What do you say about Lyra? 
Shayla says what Shayla has said. Did she not? Ah, that clarifies everything. Be gone, all who seek to dispel the mists of Lehra. She did not appreciate my response. Stop picking your nose. Get out of my face. Wow. Okay, so we didn't we did well with one, did not do well with the other two. Hey, there's a Lothander. Oh, How did you fare? Did you have the cure to my Gesh? We have the cure. Now where's the antidote to the poison? All right then. Here's my half of the antidote. Merrick, my partner, possesses the other half of the antidote. You'll find him at the Blushing Mermaid Inn. I'll, I can't help you other than that. Okay. Pleased to make your acquaintance. What? You were going to ask about my name, weren't you? Everyone wants to know about it, and you're probably no different. Well, fine! Maple Willow Aspen is my name, and yes, my parents were very fond of trees. I am very aware of it! And no, I don't want to hear any jokes about family trees and me being the sap. Are you happy now? Um. Jeez, so your parents were very fond of trees. Deep. <laughs> she just... Did she just... Teleport? I don't even, I don't even know. Right. I have no earthly, I, ooh, Reginald Longtooth Worthington the third. Hello. Hello, nice a fine and sunny day to you, wherever you wake and. Personage. Quest, quest indeed, to seek that which is to be sought and find what could be found only by looking in the right spot, as long as they were left there in the first place. Discovering that which was known but forgotten, but then remembered and sought anew, though, to old to begin with. Such pursuits are well worth following. Well, I suppose at some levels I said you could be construed as nothing. If indeed you are asking whether my discourse has validity to derive from dispensing useful tidbits of otherwise unknown stratagem and statistics, then, uh, no, I thought not. Alrighty then. Yep, I'll be off then. Indeed. Righty yo. Okie dokie. Fuck me. Ugh. Get out of here. Jeez. Okay, um, so we need to find the mermaid in, because uh, we gotta find Merrick now. Is the mermaid in also here? Okay, well, let's uh, go do that real quick. Again, I want to get these off the plate now, so I don't have to worry about them later. Merrick, we're going to have to kill. Okay, so I think we actually have to go here first. Oh, you bet. Do a run in taps if ever I saw any. Put your mouth before I bust it on your pearly whites, buddy. What do you mean? Sewer running, kiddo. Taking a crawl through the urban man's dungeon, alright? Did you show urban man dungeon, is it? Why don't you show us how to get in? No sense in me showing you. There's entrances all around the place. Just look for the sewer gratings. Those of them pop right up and you shinny on down, man. As I said, urban man's dungeon. So now we're just gonna go... Yep. E absolutely. We're just gonna hop off into. Hello, Petrine. Hi, I'm Petrine, and my folks aren't around no more, and I ran away from my Uncle Baron because he's real mean. My cat's really an angel, though, and she protects me when bad things happen. Or at least she did. I can't find her now, though. I think she went back to my uncle's to get her ring. There's this ring that she loves to play with, but when I ran away, I had to leave it at my nasty uncle's. If you could get me the ring, I'm sure Angel would come back. Could you do it? Oh, please. Whew. I will uh, think about it. And by think about it, probably. Honestly. Hmm? Rodnim. 
Hey there, pal. If you're trying to get inside the palace, you're out of luck. Common folk aren't allowed in there. Grand Dukes don't let no one in unless there's some sort of special event going on. Good to know. Actually, I'm just trying to get to the eastern side of the city. Which, perhaps you cannot from here. It's starting to look more and more like you can't. Okay, we'll figure it out. No worries. Alright, so we can't go into the palace. Let's head up here. We're getting quests left and right, though. Give me a quest. Temple of Helm. Good eve on you and yours, my friend. Might I have your Ramazith. Greetings to you and yours, friend. Might I have your ear a moment? Certainly, good sir. What is your concern? I've been watching you, but rest assured, it not be, it no be in the bad, evil eye kind of way. You and your compatriots be so obviously, well, I just say you look, you know, look like farmers or merchants. I have a service needing completion, and it require that which I think you have. I reward well, but the mission is dangerous and beyond what the law would technically allow. Interested, yes? What is it I will be expected to do? My proposition is thus. I would have you enter into the home of a colleague of mine and effect the release of a creature he has imprisoned there. Ragefast be his name, and he has in his possession one of the most beautiful and useful creatures in all of Faerun. The nymph he captured, captured some time ago, and I know not what laughable plans he has for her, but I am sure she be more productive in my care. Not so rich as to be able to offer huge gold, but as competent wizard, I do have the odd magical item of worth. Perhaps an enchanted item be will serve your needs, no? Hmm. You do not seem as powerless as your plea makes you sound. Indeed, I'd be proficient in that which is magical, but so is Ragefast. None know better how to defend against a wizard than another wizard. This requires stealth and guile, or quick blade with muscle behind. You have, I lack. Simple, no? Um, I think we're gonna go with your terms are acceptable, I agree. Because mm, we already know about Ragefast and the Nymph, and we already kind of planned on uh, rescuing her. But I don't know that we're planning on turning her over to Ramazith. Um, again, need to look up some stuff. Already you show intelligent needed to succeed. I give you directions to Ragefast's abodes and you take it from there. Yes, you will find Ragefast's home northeast of the Hall of Wonders. We meet at my home when you complete your mission. Do not tarry, for I have many plans. Let not the guards see you with the nymph. They will surely question her presence. I will expect you soon. I wouldn't. Oh, there's his home though. No interest in speaking to the likes of Tartus. <laughs> How I wish this horrid iron crisis would end. I bought a new mirror the other day, and I swear the frame shattered before the glass. Honestly, I don't know how we nobles are supposed to keep ourselves alive in this environment. Seven years bad luck, plus ten for the metal. An extra ten for metal? 
Why, this entire region will be cursed for generations. Hmm? Yeah, probably. <laughs> you're, you're not wrong, buddy. You're definitely not wrong. Three old kegs. Sounds familiar. All right, so we're gonna pop on over to this side. Yeah. Great. So that's the blushing mermaid, very nice. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna rush on in here, kill a guy, and uh, we'll be good. Whoa, 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 Lars, Lars, hold up. Wait one moment, you big oaf. Why would you think that I'm Latia? Do I look like I could be that kind of hero? Latia is a juggernaut of destruction with flaming eyes and a roaring voice. My companion and I were just normal folks. But you must be Latia. Me see picture, and it looked like you. I had no fire eyes or big voice. Pictures don't have voices. I'm confused. Or is my poor confused ogre. There's only one thing for you to do. You have to go back and take a closer look at the picture. I'm sure once you've had a second look, you'll know what a big mistake you've made. Now run along. We'll be waiting right here. That's a good idea. Lars will find picture and see for sure. You will wait here until Lars gets back. That's the plan. That guy's name is Bork. Hello, Bork. Hey, friend. Hey, no doubt you've heard the blushing mermaid and sought it out. Seldom do the people come here accidentally. Sometimes a dangerous place to be. At least it is without ample protection for your purse. Tell us what you have to offer. Random shit. Don't. What's the story? Right. Hello, mate. You look a friendly face. Save us from this wretched iron. We're doing all we can, friend, but sal such salvation is a slow and troubled process. I must evil always be so fleet of foot while good loiters behind, holding back like an embarrassed younger brother. I pray that the gods may someday grant us swifter heroes. Right. Look. I got a bunch of side quests. Calm it down. Gamesman. Oh, you bet. Hey, there's Merrick. Hey, Merrick. Hey, buddy. So you've come, I assume, to take the antidote. All you're going to accomplish is to hasten your death. But I think that isn't the foremost worry you have at the moment. that work out for you buddy potion of freedom potion of master thievery Oof, I dropped something C could you pick it up for me oof we have a large shield we're gonna have to drink all the potion of freedom potion of master thievery yeah Lothander's potion is nothing so that whole like doing part of the quest for for Lothander um, was legit. No. Heart of the Golem. There are no records of this weapon's creator. Nevertheless, its existence can be traced back among thieves and murderers to before Dale Reckoning. Its blackened blade was apparently forged from the arcane metals of an iron golem, giving the weapon an appearance as dark as its history. Cool. And then we have the protector of the dryads. Eagle Bow, protector of the dryads. In order to protect their community from an encroaching orc logging encampment, the hero Hannibal the White was given this magnificent bow by the dryads of Golthmere Forest. 
A deadly confrontation followed when the loggers dared to try to cut down a great oak tree, nearly killing the dryad linked to it. With the help of powerful forest animals, Hannibal slew entire bands of orcs before any more damage was inflicted upon the wood. The orcs were forced to abandon their plans, lest they suffer the continued wrath of Hannibal and the forest. Needless to say, the hero who aided the grateful dryads lived happily, nay, very happily, ever after. Insinuating something there. Just saying. <laughs> oh, okay. Actually, gonna send that over to her because I'm not sure uh, that she wouldn't want to stab some people with it. She's got a dagger, so why not use a dagger plus two? Um, we can sell that. Can't identify it. Identify with spell. Shield of the Falling Stars. Ilmater himself enchanted the shield upon seeing a young squire's willingness to endure untold agony for the well-being of his mouth. During a fierce battle between a human cavalry division and a hobgoblin horde, the young man was sent for reinforcements. He was beset by a cascade of arrows that nearly blocked out the sun, and he knew that even if he avoided the arrows himself, should his horse fall, he would surely be doomed. With his shield and body, he positioned himself to take the brunt of the onslaught, and was mortally wounded for it. His horse remained unscathed, allowing for their escape, and his body was carried back to the nearest town, where he was resurrected from death. Nice! So, uh, plus one shield with an extra five against missile attacks. This is better than what we have. Definitely throw it on him. By temper shield! What does she have? She has a medium shield. Can I even wear it? Inadequate strength. That's adequate strength. And... Branwen needs to be stronger. She is a weakling. If she was not so dang weak, why she do so dang weak? She's so damn weak. Drink. Drink. Okay, I've got to do it with, like, everybody. Very nice. We are all ranked up. Very good. Down on the floor. Cool. Um. So that mission is finally complete. So we no longer have the uh, time limit from the poison mission. We no longer have the time limit from the uh, from the Tremaine Sun quest. So now we can explore at our leisure, I think. Um, and we got a level on Khalid, but we will take care of that on the next video. See you then. Bye, everybody.